Hello all, in this video I will walk you through setting up Redux from scratch and building a basic counter app in React Native project so that we get idea about how to use Redux. First of all, what is Redux? Redux is a state management library. I know it is a little bit complicated first we start to learn about Redux. I know Redux is a just a jargon word when we first hear but let's make it in a simpler terms. Just think like this, we will be maintaining the data in a component in the use state so just instead of maintaining a data in the use state we can have it it in the redux store so it is helpful in a way to share the data to various components in the application so when we have a data in the use state of a component that data can be accessed by that component or only by its child component which can be sent via props if we want to access those data in some other components which are not its child component then it's not possible so to achieve this instead of having the data in use state we can maintain it in a redux store and from redux store we can access those datas in all the components through the application just think like completely taking out the use state from a component and maintaining it at some top level of the application so that all the components can access the data and we name that place as store and redux is the library which provides this feature it's especially useful for larger complex applications where the state can become difficult to manage. The main thing which you have to understand is Redux is not at all mandatory for every project. Its usage is a matter of trade-offs. Depends on the project's complexity and your specific needs, we have to choose Redux for your project. Redux introduces some level of complexity into your application. For a simple project, this might be a overkill and make your code base more complicated than necessary. In such cases, using local component state management might be a better choice. There are alternative state management solutions like React's built-in use reducer hooks as well as context API. For smaller projects or when you need more localized state, these options can be a simpler and more efficient way. Redux can be used in projects like e-commerce platform where it's helpful to maintain the state of the cart. The cart can be accessed from any screen throughout the application. So for this case, we can maintain the data which has to be displayed in the car in the Redux store. So as I said before, Redux is not mandatory. Even we can use it for only certain use cases or throughout the application depends on the project's use case. Let's see how to set up Redux and implement a simple counter feature. Okay, let's go to our Redux website. Click on the first link. Get started. Okay, so here they have mentioned uh, Redux uh, Toolkit is their official standard approach for uh, writing Redux logic. So Redux Toolkit is just a wrapper around the Redux core with uh, some of the additional features. So in Redux, updating state requires uh, creating separate actions and reduces in a separate files. But with Redux Toolkit, it just simplifies this by offering the create slice method for uh, defining our reducers. As well, for async operations, uh, middleware like uh, Tunk or Saga is used in Redux. So alternative to this, Redux Toolkit has a create async tunk utility for handling uh, async operations. JavaScript objects are uh, mutable in nature and Redux Toolkit uses a package immer but this we can achieve immutability. This makes Redux Toolkit a more streamlined and a developer friendly way to use Redux. Okay, so now let's install Redux. Let's move the terminal to right. Let's create a source folder. So inside it, uh, we can have features. So the counter will be the feature. Let's create a file called uh, counter slice.ts. So in the counter slice file, we will be having the initial state of the counter and some reducer functions to increment as well as to decrement uh, initial state okay, let's import this uh, create slice and uh, payload actions
okay this will be the interface for the state we have okay let's uh, copy the whole code and uh, let's paste it so in this file you can see we have the initial state and the reducer functions and those are uh, exported from counter slice so redux toolkit allows you to write mutating logic and reducers and it does not actually mutate the state because it has the ember library so this is the library which we already mentioned so in this reducers uh, we have a uh, three methods increment decrement and increment by amount with these three methods we are going to uh, update the initial state value so here is the initial state okay now let's configure the store so here is the code for the store let's create a folder as app creating store.ts let's copy the code and paste it so here we have the code for a counter reducer which is imported from a counter slice file so the store will be configured uh, with this uh, config store method so here we have uh, two exported types uh, which is uh, the root state and app dispatch So here you can see uh, TypeScript has automatically inferred the types for a uh, root state as well as uh, app dispatch. So with these two types uh, we can able to access the state and we can uh, dispatch uh, the actions to the reducer. So the final step will be we have to configure the store. Uh, into the application so with the help of a provider method from react redux uh, we will be uh, put the store in the top of the applications component so we will be passing the store through the provider so let's import the store we have the store in the src app folder Okay, now we have to uh, wrap the app with the provider so here I have uh, wrapped the app with app component with the provider component so we have passed the store as the props by sending a store as the props to the provider we can able to access the store values from uh, any of the component in the application so the provider just uh, passes the store values to all the components in the application by wrapping the initial app component so this will be the initial file so here we have uh, wrapped the app component so it is uh, logically so it logically sends the data to all the components okay while running the app we have got some error so let's clear it and uh, rerun Okay, something uh, related to our JSX. So let's check. Okay.
okay actually i think uh, i have to return this okay still we have the issue if the issue is a react on jsx type this invalid okay so we have accidentally exported a jsx uh, syntax okay got it so in react native uh, this is uh, just a dot js file so here uh, we can't able to write any jsx like we can't able to uh, use any angle bracket and uh, write the component so let's move this uh, components imports to the tsx file so i just uh, create a app component so let's check whether it's rendering yes it gets rendered let's create a let's create one more file uh, main.tsx so in this tsx file i'm going to import the app.tsx in this uh, file we will be importing a app component and wrap it with the provider from react redux so since it is a tsx file the provider can be used without any problem so let's import a store and provider Let's uh, rerun the app. Yes, in the main file, it's uh, the main file is working. Okay, the store has been configured now. Now let's create the counter component. Create a button. This button is for a increment. Whenever we press this button, we have to increment a value. So the increment logic is in the reducer file, like in a slice file. We have to call the increment method whenever we press this button. Actually, we should dispatch it. Dispatch is like uh, whenever uh, in a use state, we have to change the state value means uh, we will be calling a set state function and we will pass the value what should be changed. Like that in a Redux, uh, if we want to change the store value, we have to handle those logic in a reducer and the functions in the reducer will be dispatched with the help of use dispatch hook. So let's import the increment and uh, decrement from the slice file as well as uh, we should uh, import uh, use dispatch from react redux Let's create a one more button for decrement. So change this to counter. If 
from uh, use selector we can get the store value actually okay here the initial value is zero when we press increment it gets incremented okay so when we click decrement also it's just get incremented i think there is an issue okay here we have to change it to decrement okay now it gets decremented and incremented Okay, so here you can see whenever we click the increment the state value gets incremented so like uh, on decrement the state value gets decremented so there is a one more method we have increment by amount so let's import that create a one more button for uh, increment by amount on the increment by amount I am just passing a 2 So whenever we click this button it should get incremented by 2 yes it's working as expected gets incremented by 2 I think we come to an end so this is the basic implementation of a counter feature in Redux so think it as just a boilerplate for Redux implementation in react native here you can see the use selector hook with the help of use selector uh, we can access the store value so in whatever the component you need to access the store value we should import the use selector and from it we can access the initial state of the respective uh, store thank you i hope you guys like the video